Wagwan people flame them and shame them. You see flame tight now man coming up in this video. Dancehall artist Joshi when him a perform live over Canada. Yo, the man them slap shot pa man over there, you know, people. Mm hmm. A uh, man intense book for the event, ma I tell you. Intense never get for perform because when Joshia perform as well, me say, shot fire. When my boy, I go do with him, Ardivan. Quaran cleaning, I'm a cardigan. And also, coming up, DNA result has confirmed that skeleton remains found in St. Catherine in May are those of missing accountants, teacher Chantel Blake McCullough. Wow, sad situation right about now, you know. Mm hmm. May I tell you about them money from Jamaica? Anyhow, the sister of a bag of things where she has said, you know. Mama exposed Chantel husband. Yo. When I went to the house and I called the detective that was on the case, that was Detective Bailey. I called him and I said to him, There's surveillance camera at the house. Has anyone checked the cameras? They're on it, they're on it, they're working on getting it. Otherwise, coming up, three people were killed in Pumpkin Bottom in Anova early this morning. What a kushu kushu kasha kasha, me I tell you. Jamaica run away, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, people, me know you don't want to miss out on these topics, so please don't go away. If you have viewed the channel for the first time, please, my beggar, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a like on this video, leave your thoughts in the comment section. A be a hit review job about here, you know. So, on a big up on yourself, stay tuned. <laughs> People that was dancehall artist Ace God a mash up over Antigua. Ma I tell you, Ace God, big up yourself and continue to eat. You know, people, let me see some flames in the comment section for Ace God performance over Antigua. Uh, Ace God, I represent for Tell You TV. Tell them not tell you. Naka naka. Three people were killed in Pumpkin Bottom and over early this morning. According to Observer Online sources, the victims were all recently taken into custody and later released. It is unclear if there is a connection between the three or if their deaths are linked to their recent running with the law. What a kusho kusho kasha kasha. Anyhow, a man and a woman slaughtered as they slept are among the dead. The name of those killed has not yet been released. Boy, 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 boy. May I tell you, Jamaica. We need some prayer, you know, and we need peace in a way. We need love, unity, caring, and them things, and kindness. As you may say, yeah, because all we solve a problem, them, it don't look good. As a man and a man kick off, quick, quick, a man want to get rid of a man and dirt him. Jano Star, we need to cut out that and make Jamaica start run back good, you know, smooth. The one love something that Bob said, oh. People the other day we see dancehall artists king a perform over Guyana and we see shot fire and them decide say them are ban the artists right there so they make it look like a the artists make man carrying gun in an event and a bus shot when a the promoter forget the pre you know? mm -hmm. now we see dancehall artists Joshi and Intense book, book for your event over Canada while Joshia perform shot fire, man fire shot per man, a be things are going you know. And intense never get for work. May I tell you people, check out the highlight of when Joshia perform and the shot bus. Josh is still insist same one perform in you know, a water kushu. <laughs> Three sixty pound the speed of the car. Running out, coaching, cheering for it. In a 
One thing me have to say, you know, don't blame it on the artists, them blame it on the promoters, them. All right, they say they, you know, uh, who control the gate? I know the artists, them. Hmm? I know the artists, country. I know the artists, friend, them a bus shot. So how comes we are go on pre the artists, them now, pre the promoter? You know, agree with what I say, people. Let me know in the comment section, though. People by now me know no earlier about the story about Chantel Makala, the lady where it went missing. Mm -hmm. Them final remains right about now. So the family members them want justice. Yeah, and fingers are pointing pan Chantel Makala husband. You know what I mean? Yeah, and me a year say the man went missing and all these things. Boy, I may tell you, you know. Corruption, it tick boy, yeah. so make we hear what the sister have to say. Leave your honest opinion down below in the comment section. It is very sad and hurtful and painful that at this time I was not there to protect her because she know I would. She know I would. But God. But God. I knew the news could not have gone any other way because I knew from the moment that I saw the clothing that it was her because it was something that could fit and I knew as well that it's not no coincidence that in the same community that that devil is from is the same community that my sister's remains were found it's not coincidence I am broken into a million pieces. When Chantel and I were growing up, we have spoken about so many things. We have never spoken about death. We have never spoken about what would happen if anything were to go around with any of us because it's not something that we even process for a second. Bye. I hold the Jamaica Constabulary Force accountable for not allowing us to have a body to bury. They could not have saved her life because I know from the moment I went to the house and I spoke with Shane McCullough that he was lying and he did something to my sister. They could not have saved her. But what they could have done was to give us a fear investigation, a just investigation so that we could at least have a body to bury. How do I go in a church with a skull and piece of bone? I hold the Jamaica Constabulary Force accountable for that. Because Chantel does not deserve this. When I went to the house and I called the detective that was on the case, that was Detective Bailey, I called him and I said to him, there's surveillance camera at the house. Has anyone checked the cameras? They're on it, they're on it, they're working on getting it. I said, has anyone questioned the children? Up until this very moment, that has not been done. This is a house where this woman lives with her children. And obviously, she would have left the children at the house that moment she left and met her demise. And no one thought about checking the surveillance camera. No one thought about questioning the children when last did you see mommy did mommy say anything to you you understand me how would you describe your mom's body language 
they are smart children they are able to answer questions like those the excuse to that was oh they are minors of course they are minors but they can be questioned and of course you will not get the um, Shane's consent however it's a police matter that you're investigating which means that you could get a guardian involved and you could also get his attorney involved from Shantia went missing on the 6th of January Shane has done absolutely nothing to help bring her back because he know what he did he knows what he did the only thing he has done he has hired a PI to prove his innocence you could not find the time to hire a PI to prove that your what to prove what happened to your wife or to find or to locate your wife but you could hire a PI to prove that you're innocent and you could hire a lawyer to prove that you're innocent you have never come on any platform at all to say to the media to say to Jamaica my wife is missing and we need your help in trying to locate where she is because he knew what he did and he comes with the lame excuses because he knows that the system is gonna back him he knows that whatever he says or does the system is gonna back him so of course he does not need to rehearse or to study things that he's going to come forward to say because of course he knows that the system is going to back him because guess what he have money he's well known and he knows people in politics he knows ministers every other day you call my sister she's going to dinner with Christopher Tufton you understand I've reached out to Christopher Tufton from in February and up until now I haven't gotten a response Chantel is a nobody up until now we have gotten no publicity as it relates to anyone coming out we haven't gotten any statement from the DSP no one is coming out in public saying anything to us all the information that we have gotten is behind closed doors and information that we're searching for on our own she is a mother of four and I would say five because Jafari does not have any other mother but Chantel. He knows no other mother but Chantel. So I would say five. But if needs be, she's a mother of four. And no one thought that something fishy right here. You understand me? Something not right right here, so. Your wife did not come home on Thursday. You, you, you found it so much of an importance to go to the police station to make a report on Thursday that your wife is missing when you have not reached out to any other family member to ascertain if they are with her but you found it and you took it upon yourself to go to the police station and make a report not even 24 hours after you haven't seen her not even 24 hours the one person you called you did not ask if Chantel was with them you only stated Chantel is missing. Two weeks after Chantel went missing, two days after Chantel went missing, you stated on a recording that the police has, that is on social media as well, that you're grieving. Two days after your wife is missing, you're grieving. You also said to us, let us mourn together. Two days after your wife is missing, you want us to mourn together. What exactly are we mourning for? Shane Makala, what we are mourning for? What exactly are we mourning for? The Jamaica Constabulary Force see that of no importance and no urgency. But take my word for it. If the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Mr. Fitz Bailey, and the entire CIB and MIB allow Shane Makala to kill my niece and nephew, you guys will be held accountable for it because that man is capable. I cannot understand why this man still have access to these children up until this very moment. I cannot understand it. I refuse to understand it. I need somebody to come and tell us publicly that listen since as the word adequate evidence is so much of a famous word and it's a good word listen we don't have adequate evidence 
to list him as a suspect or we have adequate evidence to list him as a suspect and let us go back to the drawing board because as far as i am concerned we have been solving this case from day one we have been solving this case from day one the first time that we came public they stated that we are um, compromising the case and i say you know what mommy make we make it rest make we allow them to do them work when the remains were found i was so happy because me be like thank you jesus at least something will become of this and all it did was to make the case stagnant that's all it did the case stuck it can't go away after the remains were found the case stagnant remember i know this is a community that this man is from familiar with you understand me a community that her phone was also trapped the same day that she was reported missing you understand me and it's no coincidence i saw the blows and i know it was my sister's blows from the moment i look at it i knew it from the moment i set my eyes on it and to top it all off you understand when i went to the spanish town hospital and they took the remains out of the body bag the trapaulin that the body was wrapped in was nowhere to be found and they stated that they sent back for the trapaulin how could you scene of crime how could you leave trapaulin something of such significance at the scene of crime is it that you're not sensible enough is it that you're not capable enough what is it and trust me i honestly believe that that was very intentional that was very very intentional you could have left the remains there because the only thing we're gonna get from the remains is to do a dna sample from the from the teeth you understand that's the only thing that we're gonna get from the remains because there's pretty much nothing but you left the trap all in there you understand that the entire body was wrapped in why i want to ask that question why what were you trying to cover up I have never been so ashamed in my entire life i have never been so ashamed in my entire life listen i regret being a jamaican citizen and i will say that with no regret i regret being a part of this country and this population because if you're not from an affluent background if you do not have status and if you don't have money and if you're not in a lodge and if you're not the wrong things nobody notice you nobody notice you I said to the first set of police that was on the case check the surveillance camera question the children Jafari said to me auntie are the two man them come for mommy I said to the police officer ask the little pitney what is he talking about up until now up until now when when everything started off and in the initial state my mother and i was so worried about the children and we said to the police officer which is bailey and puddy we are very concerned about shane leaving the island and taking the children they said to us that is not something for us to worry about because his travel documents were seized and the port what i'm saying about the port mommy you know, um, it, 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 there's a blockage there's a block the at ports. him there's a block frame at the port so i want to know when we got the information that shane mccullough was in newark did he take the boat or did he him fly which one of them because if you take him travel documents and you close the port middle like you know or him leave the country and let me say this again if jamaica constabulary for a sit down and make she and kill my nieces and my nephew because if you did that to their mother what will you not do you will be held accountable for it at the detriment of me you will be held accountable for it only to slack only to corrupt only to dirty so what uh, chantel not have no family Chantella have no family. We not have no voice. We not pay no police for do them work. Let me tell you no that. We not pay no police for do them work. Me I go tell you no that and say it straight. We pay them already in the tax money. We pay taxes so they can't. You understand? Them tax money. 
we have spent so much money on this we have gotten a private investigator and the private investigator could say to us that shane have bodyguard police bodyguard you understand me the same first set of police that had the case were the same set of police that was bodyguarding shane i remember speaking to this woman and i'm not gonna call her name because she pretty much have never a clue when i heard about shane visiting a particular police bar which is puddy bar you understand puddy bar i said to the police woman do you know mr puddy she says yes i say does he have a bar she said yeah he operates a bar he owns a bar that's confirmation yes that, that is confirmation i didn't even ask her i say anything to her about what i heard i just wanted to know if him own a bar for you how do you have someone that you're investigating quote unquote because as far as me concerned shane is a victim right here how do you have someone that you are investigating sitting down in your bar drinking bodyguarding the same person let me ask you a question you don't have no mama no sister no auntie no cousin you don't have no relative you don't too dirty nobody never did ask you to say for bring Chantel back alive to us because I know that Chantel dead from the moment she tell me say he left her off at all about to come in no so we were not asking for you to bring her back alive but because of no carelessness you understand me because of no carelessness we get skull and bone, we get skull and bone. when me tell my four niece and nephew them say no when me tell them say no because of no negligence because of no negligence i'm not gonna sit down and wait so she till she and decide to commit suicide and kill me four nieces and nephew them because that man is not gonna allow himself to sit in jail him have too much ego and too much pride for that he is not going to allow that to happen but let me tell you this and mark my word if she and my color if uno allow she and my color if you kill my nieces and my nephew them you guys will be held accountable for it because uno too, uno too neglectful uno too neglectful uno take up what for serve and protect uno need to put in a bracket wealthy affluent people because only them the people don't protect only them the people that want to protect the wealthy people them the affluent people them the people that want to can get a drink from only them the people that want to protect mr fitzbelly i am so disappointed in you because i came to your office and you gave me your word that you will be investigating the matter personally it is not something that you do but you're gonna ensure that you take up this case as a, on a personal level and quite frankly you've done nothing when the mid took this case I think they have tried their best but you see CID and you see Matilda's kind of police and them compromise the case the matter about we going on social media go compromise and them compromise the case because they made it so difficult all the evidence that was there three months later MID take control if so much don't hold me to that you understand me it was so difficult there was no security footage and as far as me concerned Chantel is dead and the children are missing probably dead as nobody can say to us listen we have spoken to the children and they're okay you understand nobody can say that to us every time that we make a phone call if we do get through the matter is under investigation the matter is under investigation Shane has been treated like he's a victim when you're the last person we see her you understand me you are the husband you understand me and your story is not adding up they couldn't even get him to come identify the clothes you could not even get him to come identify the clothes and he's the last person that saw her and you could not get him to do that and yet still this man is being treated as if he's a victim All the Jamaica Constable of Force did need to tell me is that, like, guess what? When you take up some placard and some poster and come down here, come make up some nice and get TVJ and CVM. I would have done that. Because that could have been done. That could have been done. A vulgar is then like, hey, then you to. But we honestly feel like, say, if you take a word for serve and protect, that is exactly what you should be doing.